Hey, what it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. But today, man, we got these eight places on earth that scientists cannot even explain. You know what I'm saying? Look, go ahead and smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Look, just know if you're going through hard times. I know that people are celebrating a lot this month, but you're not going through it by yourself. We're in this thing together. So, you know what I'm saying? Good vibes only. Let's get it. Let's kick it. God's stone. On the territory of Saudi Arabia, an eight-hour drive from its capital, there is a mysterious rock formation called Al Nasla. The stone is 9 meters high and 8 meters wide. However, the most interesting thing is that the boulder seems to be cut exactly in half with a very sharp huge saw, and the line is very smooth. Yes, Moreover, man. both sides of the boulder do not fall on each other and do not fall to the ground. Although the base of both parts is not the widest, the stones are held in place, as if they are held by some mysterious force. And that's not all, because the rock carvings and hieroglyphs covering part of the surface of the stone gives these blocks even more mystery. Scientists still do not understand the exact purpose of this stone and even its origin. Darvesa Darvesa is the name of a crater in Turkmenistan that has been burning continuously for over 40 years. The sinkhole, 69 meters wide and 30 meters deep, is located in the center of the Karakum Desert, covering about 70% of the total area of the country. Turkmenistan ranks fourth in the world in natural gas reserves, and the Dervaza crater is located in the heart of the gas field in the Akhal region, about 270 kilometers north of the country's capital, Ashgabat. Although the origin of this phenomenon is still disputed, the story is considered true, according to which Soviet geologists drilled wells of gas exploration in 1971 and stumbled upon an underground void. Fearing the harmfulness of the gas coming from the resulting hole, the scientists decided to set it on fire, believing that the gas would soon burn out. However, the gas has not burned out so far. This unique place is nicknamed the Door to Hell, or the Gate of Hell. The Lights of Hasdalen Almost every night, that. residents of Hasdalen in Norway observe a mysterious phenomenon over which scientists are at a loss to guess. At night, bright dancing lights appear over the valley, which flicker, changing their shape, and then disappear until the next night. Scientists have been carefully studying this phenomenon for decades. Since the first appearance of the lights in the 1930s, the inhabitants of the valley began to make various assumptions and theories about the origin of this anomaly. According to one theory, strange lights in the sky appear due to the fact that the lake in the valley is radioactive and emits radon particles into the atmosphere, which decays in the sky forming bright flashes. According to another theory... Y'all know, look, y'all know that's some straight up moolarchy right there. They know... <laughs> look, <laughs> they know what that shit is. They know... Stop. Stop. That's, that's just cap. It's getting cringy at this point. The lights appear in the sky due to the fact that Hasdalen is full of sulfuric acid. <laughs> hey, full of shit. According to scientists, sulfur interacts with water. As a result of the reaction, sparks appear in the sky. However, there is still no single exact answer explaining this phenomenon. Karachai Lake There were many nuclear facilities in the USSR, many of which were dangerous and poorly planned. Near one of these former facilities is Lake Korachai, which is located in the Chilabinsk region, Russia. There are more radioactive materials in this lake than anywhere else on the entire planet. It is so dangerous that you can die within an hour if you just stand next to this lake. Ooh. The area around Lake Korachai is more radioactive than even in Chernobyl. In 1957, an accident at the Korachai nuclear power plant provoked an explosion, as a result of which, Radioactive particles were released within a radius of 23,000 kilometers. As a result, it was decided to fill the lake with concrete to avoid a catastrophe. But despite this, the area still remains very dangerous and polluted. Endless thunderstorms. Hey, y'all know what that type of stuff right there? Yeah, I seen some. Do I seen some documentaries on like the power plants and stuff that they used to have. Man, look, they don't keep it. That's why I think they just need to be honest with people because a lot of people get hurt in these situations where they're doing these experiments with, with like power and this radiation stuff, and it affects people's water. People be coming out deformed and stuff like that. New cancers are starting, and all they 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 could have just told everybody to move out that vicinity and kept it real in the beginning, and that could have saved all of that trouble and all these people's lives. But you know, 
Shit's crazy. Just thought I should ruin y'all day with that one. <laughs> In the west of Venezuela, a thunderstorm is raging over the Catatomba River, which real. almost never stops. The thunderstorm starts every day at 7 p.m. and lasts for 10 hours. This phenomenon is repeated annually for 260 days. No one knows the exact cause of this natural phenomenon. According to the basic theory, these lightning bolts are somehow connected with uranium in the nearby swamps. But scientists are not sure about this. According to scientists, a lightning in Catatumbo occurs as a result of special forms of mountains, over which streams of warm mountain wind and cold from the Andean mountains collide. Then the winds combine with the rapidly evaporating mountain river and methane from all fields nearby, resulting in thunderstorms. Nevertheless, this is not the final version, since the lightning of Catatumbo is much more mysterious than it seems at first glance. For example, one day in 2010, a thunderstorm inexplicably stopped earlier than usual, and it would seem there would be no more thunderstorms. But after six weeks, a lightning began to sparkle again in the sky of Catatumbo. Since then, this phenomenon has been repeated ever since. Mountain Votovara Votovara Mountain is often called Russian Stonehenge. This mysterious place is located in Karelia. The mountain and its surrounding area are a very eerie sight. Dry twisted trees, stone blocks of strange shape, century-old pine trees grow here, whose height can reach only up to one meter. There are practically no animals and birds, and the lakes are uninhabited. Unfortunately, the mystery of Votovara has not yet been solved by scientists, but there are many rumors and theories about this mysterious place. Some say that once upon a time, sorcerers communicated here with evil spirits and sacrificed to the ancient gods. Others say that this is a special point on Earth where time has stopped. Still others say that elves and trolls live here. There are many theories, but no one really knows exactly what this place is. Stone Balls of Costa Rica Starting in the 1930s of the last century, travelers began to find strange stone balls in some impassable corners of Costa Rica. The That's size of these objects ranges from a few centimeters to several meters and the maximum weight reaches 20 tons. It would seem that there is nothing unusual in these boulders, but scientists were amazed by the perfect shape of the stones, which gives the impression that the giant's hands rolled smooth and dense snowballs out of the rock. In the jungles of Costa Rica, there is a large number of such objects, about 300 spherical stones grouped into 50 pieces, and often they are laid out in the form of geometric shapes. There are three versions that, that explain shit. this phenomenon. Dope, Supporters though. of the first version claim that this is a creation of human hands. Others refers to the activity of volcanoes. Still others associate it with an alien invasion. Waterfall. I think that that right there is crazy. Just think about the theory. What they said that uh, people beans were so big that they had rolled those balls up. Imagine if those were just like their little hockey balls or some shit like that. That's how big they were. That was something slight for them. Hmm possibilities but i don't think it's no volcano made no perfect uh, round balls i used to think people made those like by their hands old devil's teapot the waterfall under the funny name devil's Pretty teapot dope, is located in minnesota and is one of the most mysterious places on earth this waterfall is interesting because it takes half of the current of the river into the unknown mm. in a certain place it is divided into two streams one stream goes straight into the upper bowl and the second is unclear where Scientists do not understand exactly where the streams end, where the water gets to. Scientists have tried to add paint to the water to observe which part of the stream will eventually turn red. However, the attempt was unsuccessful. According to the laws of physics, water should get somewhere anyway. Water flows can be tracked even if they pass underground. However, in the case of this waterfall, the laws of physics apparently do not work. It is unclear what is the reason for this phenomenon. Maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. In general, we can only guess. It's important for, uh, like, for travel and stuff like that to see dope shit like this. You know, uh, I think those, <laughs> you know, it's pretty interesting, bro. When you start to travel and you start to see the different architecture out here in the world and the different phenomenons, man, it, it opens your mind to just the endless possibilities of just, like, anything dealing with science. Like, it re-kickstarted that uh, thing in my head where I... As a child, bro, I wanted to like build things. I wanted to build stuff like uh, 
I used to have dreams and visions of me being in like a, a alien spacecraft and I was flying around the earth in it. Like I, I had visions of that. So I wanted to recreate that and build that, you know, but it, but these, this type of stuff right here, it just like re-stimulates your brain in a positive way. So, you know, you can be able to manifest and create what you want to be able to create. You know what I'm saying? By taking the information that you gather from within this world and, you know what I'm saying, create your own, manifest your own. You're just taking different ingredients from you traveling the world and seeing different phenomenons and creating your reality the way that you want it. Hopefully y'all tracking, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 how I was uh, perceiving it when I was out here traveling to these different spots and seeing. I even went into caves, y'all. Now that I know what I knew, know now, I wouldn't even go into the, the caves that I was in, bro. Like, we was miles and miles and miles into caves. Like, going through waters and swamps and stuff, man, in Japan and everything. It was lit, though. I wouldn't take it back, but right now, would I go back and, and, and do that? Hey, absolutely not. Not right now, you know? Got too much to lose, but look, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed this, man. Y'all get out there and travel, kick ass, learn information, man. And I'll see you on the next video. And like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you in the next video. We out. Bye.